あああああああ,あ OK。OK。It should be working now。Yeah。OK。Is it working now? Is it good now? Can you hear me, everyone? Finally, I can see the microphone bars moving.、Um, it was a loose connection over here. So I just reconnected this part and it should be working right now. Okay, okay. It works, it works. Okay, you can hear me now. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for waiting. All right, so, anyways,、uh, let's start the live stream today. So, this is the 16th of December, and this is on、um, Thursday. So, markets are active today also, especially pound. If you monitor the chart, pound went up all the way in five or lower time frames. After the news, so yeah, pound pair is all very active, and also I was screening charts and I found、um, right now USD is going down, and JPY is going down, and Euro is going up, and the Swiss franc is also going up. So we see some movements today, so let's check charts together and see what's happening. All right, so. Okay, so let me change this、uh, frame. Okay, and、uh, so before starting here, as a quick disc disclaimer, as usual, the content is all based on my own experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, since this is a live stream, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that would be great. All right, so. I see many comments now. Thank you for joining, everyone. Let me say hi to everyone quickly. Harshal and Karim, Vipin and a r k a d i Wongalan and Kishore, and Akbar and James, Chana and Wongalan. Good to see Atru Sitaram also. Good to see you again. And Roger and Dinesh, Anis, Muhammad, good to see you. Ruslan. All right, good to see you, everyone. Ivan and P and Q also, good to see you. And Bissam. All right, good to see you here. All right, Sudish also, good to see you. And Gabby, good to see you too. And Trader Steve also, good to see you. All right, so let's check some charts together. So let me switch to Trading View. So since we had some active markets in Pound and also,、um, yeah, let's see, Pound and also AUD, and Euro was also moving. So Yeah, let me focus on the pound pairs first. So I will screen pound USD first. So pound USD today was bullish and the market went all the way up to daily Kijun Sen. But since the daily Kijun Sen itself is pointing down,、um, there is a, there's a good chance that the market will be resisted by this and go down. So we might see, high, we might see uptrend in lower time frames. But since the market is on at the Kijun Sen daily chart,、um, we better wait for until next week or until I would say tomorrow at least. And so that's one. And also, if you notice it,、uh, there was a previous support and resistance level here at 1.3354. So that means the market might be resisted and go down afterwards. Let me get this、uh, in tool. Yep, good to see you, everyone. Thank you for joining. Yeah, so、um, there was a previous support and resistance. So this time it may be resisted and go down. And also, Kijun Sen is here too. So it may reverse from here. So. Um, this is not a good timing to buy in that sense. So we better wait for this candlestick close. And if it closes above 1.3354, then we can look for the buy chance from tomorrow. Otherwise, we better stay away in this condition. So, 
and let's check the pound JPY. Pound JPY is also the same or similar situation as pound USD. You can find that there was a line over here, which was previous resistances and also the support. Previous two previous resistances and support. So this time it may be rejected and retraced backwards. And also this one too, the market is actually touched the Kijun Sen. It may be rejected by the Kijun Sen and retraced backwards. So we better do nothing in this case. We can't fill from here either because it might break and continuously go upwards. And we, we don't know which way it's going. So we better stay away in this condition. So it looks like pound went up all the way, but uh, the, the pound, strong pound, were against the major directions. So um, it's, in a sense, a bit tricky market today. So next one is pound CAD. Yeah, this one is exactly in the Kumo now, and it's been ranging. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat, which corresponds is very close to the previous candle. So this is basically ranging and no trends. And also there was a resistance here too and previous support. So you can find a reversal line here also. Previous support and resistances. So this time it may be resisted and retraced backwards. But since market is within the Kumo now, we have no idea how far the market retraces. Um, it may be in a range or it may be doji candle tomorrow or the day after. So we better do nothing in this case. We better wait for the resistance breakout and look for the buying it or simply wait for the Kumo breakout and look for buying it. Otherwise, still it's a range market. And pound AUD. This one is also ranging in the daily chart. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat market within the Kumo now. So we better not touch this one. And Pan Sis Ran, this one has also been rejected by this Kijun Sen and now it's retracing backwards. So, yes, Pound was strong today, but as per Ichimoku Kin Kohyo in the daily chart, it's either resisted by the previous resistance support or Kijun Sen and retracing backwards. So, um, we better do nothing in these cases. So, um, and then let me check the euro pairs. One thing I noticed was euro USD. I was expecting the market break the P wave bearish, but it didn't happen. But instead, it broke P wave upwards bullish. So, um, yeah, in this case, I continue to stay away and I will just delete these lines because P wave has broken against the major direction and market is. Looks like market has been in the range, ranging for for a long time. So uh, we, although we see the Kumo has been bearish, and the Senko span A is pointing down, and the Kijun Sen is also pointing down. Uh, so this time the market might be rejected by the Kijun Sen and go down from tomorrow, but uh, we never know. It may retrace back to Kumo here. So in this case, I won't be doing anything. And also Chikou span is too close. And when you see Chikou span touch the candles, that, that's the meaning of the range. It's a range market. When, when you see, and most likely it will happen in a few days. So yeah, in that sense, Euro USD, I will continue to stay away. Yeah, just because today is bullish, we can't take a buy. But if you wish to buy, then I would wait for First of all, this candlestick close, and if it closes above Kijun Sen, then it may retrace back to Kumo Senko Span A or Senko Span B. So uh, with that target, I might be buying. But anyhow, I have to wait for this candle close today. Yeah. Oh, you can't see the currency pair on the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me adjust this uh, trading view. Okay, sorry. I I think you weren't also able to see name of the currency and also the time frame. Okay. Okay, how's it now? Can you see it now? Okay, sorry about that. 
So yeah, uh, Euro USD in the daily chart, it's in the ranging market now. So simply I stay away. And but I found Euro AUD to be trending in lower time frame. I think it was in a one hour chart, it was down when I screened the chart earlier, but now it's retracing back to Kijun Sen. So um, yeah, I will just take out the flag because it's ranging now and it, it's retracing back to Kijun Sen. So this is actually the nature of Ichimoku is that when you see Kijun Sen flat, that's possibly when the market retraces back to Kijun Sen. So, but when you see Kijun Sen point down, most likely the market is bearish. But here it's retracing back to Kijun Sen. So, um, and Kijun Sen flat means, so, so first of all, Kijun Sen shows the midterm market momentum and Tenkan Sen shows the short term and Senko Span B shows the long term market momentum. So among all these lines of Ichimoku, Kijun Sen is the core line to focus and Tenkan Sen as a support of Kijun Sen because Tenkan Sen shows short term and Kijun Sen shows mid term. So but when you see Kijun Sen flat like this, um, oftentimes the market retraces back to Kijun Sen and then be rejected and go down or breaks and retraces back to Kumo usually. So, and when I see the Kijun Sen flat like this, I won't take a, take a sell because uh, it may retrace still back to Kijun Sen. And this is happening in one hour chart. So this is a very lower time frame. But let's say you found you find this Kijun Sen retracement in the daily time frame. If it happens in the daily time frame, then these two days or three days could be uptrending. So you might see uptrend in the lower time frames. One hour could be uptrending or even four hour chart could be uptrending. In that case, I will follow either four hour chart or one hour chart uptrend and take Kijun Sen, take the daily Kijun Sen as a target. So this is called Kijun Sen retracement strategy. And it's also my favorite to do. But this is just happening in one hour chart. So simply when I see this, I simply stay away. I can't buy in lower time frame and take Kijun Sen as a target. Because in one hour chart for Ichimoku, it's a bit lower time frame. So uh, it's less reliable than daily or higher time frames. So although I see retracing backwards and let's see in five minute chart, it has been bullish now. You see this um, consecutive end waves bullish. So technically you can buy and expect the market goes up to the one hour Kijun Sen and you can just exit there and take some few pips. But uh, the chance for the market to reverse is also very high. In, because this is just in five minute chart, in one hour chart. It's lower than daily time frame. So that's why simply I don't take it by. Um, but uh, yeah, so in one hour chart, it's retracing back to Kijun Sen. So I will do nothing in this case. I will wait until Kijun Sen point down. I would wait until Kijun Sen point down in one hour chart and Kumo point down also uh, to be able to look for the sell chance. And when this Kijun Sen will point down in how many hours uh, you, can, you can tell by counting the number of candles to the previous. Because Kijun Sen is taking the high and low for the last 26 candles, so simply when you count back from this candlestick, when you count backwards, 26, that will be here. So 26 candle was here at this um, 2 p.m. in UTC plus one. So um, Kijun Sen is taking this high over here. At uh, oops, hold on. Kijun Sen is taking this high at 1.5836 and this low at 1.5658. And Kijun Sen is a mid price. 
So when Kijun Sen will point down, is either high gets lower or low gets lower. And most likely low, I mean support line breakout won't happen that soon because the market is now bullish in the lower time frames. So if it goes into the range, if it just goes up and down like in this range, then how many hours, in how many hours, Kijun Sen will point down is in three hours. Because you know that Kijun Sen is now taking this high and after this high, the second previous high for the last 26 candles was this one over here. So for the for the Kijun Sen to take the second previous high, which is this one at 1.8, uh, sorry, 1.5826, it needs three hours. It needs three hours for the Kijun Sen to start to take this candlestick. And then Kijun Sen will take this high. So that will make the Kijun Sen point down. Although it doesn't break support. So we can foresee in how many candles Kijun Sen will point down. Or you can actually do it by the Tenkan Sen because Tenkan Sen is taking nine candles in the past. So if it's within nine candles, then you can expect. And Kansen will point down or up in nine, nine candles or uh, this uh, Senko Span B. Senko Span B is taken for the last 52 candles. So by simply chief, by simply counting number of candles previous 52 and take high and low, then you know when, roughly when or exactly when the Senko Span B will point down. But uh, this is an example of the Kijun Sen. So in three hours, we know that Kijun Sen will point down. That is for sure. So in three hours, you can come back to the chart. I would do that. I would come back to this chart in three hours or after three hours. And when Kijun Sen point down, I would see if, if the market is still below the Kijun Sen. If it's still below Kijun Sen, then I might be able to look for the sell chance you know, because the chance for the market to be bearish is then stronger. And the market might be rejected by the Kijun Sen and continue to go down this way. But if the market is above Kijun Sen in a three, after three hours, then I won't look for the sell chance because uh, the fact that the market is above Kijun Sen means the buyers are winning. Buyers start to win in the midterm than sellers. So buyers might be dominant and the market might retrace back to the Kumo. So I won't look for the sell chance anymore. But right now, the market is still below Kijun Sen. So sellers are still dominant in the midterm than buyers. So we can continuously look for the sell chance. Especially when you see Kijun Sen point down, that shows the market direction in the midterm is now bearish. So then you can look for the sell chance then. So this was a little bit about uh, about the calculation of Kijun Sen and expect uh, in how many candles Kijun Sen will point down. So yeah, you can practice that when you see charts real time. Like this, so that you know exactly in how many hours you can be stay away from the charts. Yeah, so let's see. Euro pound in one hour chart is a bit too spiky. So if I see this week all, all the way down and weeks also or double top here, I will simply stay away. The market is also in between Kijun Sen and Kumo. So the market is ranging, Chikospan touching. So uh, I would simply stay away from this one. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Muhammad says, I have counted number of candles in the daily time frame for EU, EU and GU and came to conclusion that it is time for the market to touch Kijun Sen again. Learned this from your last week's session and made profit. That's great. That's great. Yeah, so e, uh, Euro USD and Pound USD. Yeah, it's um, still in the daily chart. 
it's a bit ranging. But uh, let's see. Do I have time cycle on Euro USD? Uh, looks like no. And let's see. Pound USD. Um, yeah, Pound USD also retraced back to the Kijun Sen and the previous support. So it may retrace backwards from here. But yeah, counting. Uh, so in this one, uh, the market retraced back to Kijun Sen. So now it may retrace, it may be rejected and go down. Yeah, so that's also a um, the the indication here. So we have to monitor um, until the end of today or tomorrow to see if it does. All right, um, Level Kiri says, um, Hi K, do you have any ideals in this week? Are you a breakout trader? Um, I am not a breakout trader. I take trades before the breakout so that once the market breaks, I run the profit in a very quickly. So um, yeah, and that's actually the beauty of Ichimoku is that the, uh, you don't have to wait for the breakout, basically. You just wait for the, uh, how do you say, you just wait for the confirmations and take the buy or sell. And simply when you see the market reverse backwards, then you can just exit with your risk management. So, yeah, that's, I think, most important. But yeah, if there is a resistance, then the market might reverse. And with that in mind, I monitor chart. And when the market really retraces backwards, then simply I will, take, I will exit with a very small loss and look for some other chance. Yeah, PNQ, there is a news in 32 minutes. So uh, yeah, let's see. Speaking about the news. Uh, okay, let's see. We can find the news. Okay, so here is the news for today. So uh, yeah, we have news market PMI composite and market manufacturing PMI in the US. But uh, this is a medium impact and I don't think impact will be that big this time. So I will simply don't really care. There was a you know ECB press conference, but it didn't really give any impacts a pound did the uh, the news in pound rate decision and also um you know vault rate cut and such impact the market and pound was bought after this news but uh yeah today we have no big news so simply we can just look the charts and uh do technical analysis and take trades Yeah, so let's see. All right, and Lee says, Hey K, can you update your long on USCC AD yesterday? Also, yesterday on the live stream, I took the buy on USCC AD, and after that, I moved it to break even and simply stayed away. And after that, I woke up in the morning today and confirmed that the position was exit of the break even. So the result was actually the break even on that one. Yeah, and now it's retracing backwards in the daily chart. It's going just backwards. So uh yeah, sorry about the too many lines. Let me just delete clean up these lines. Okay. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here is USCC AD, and uh, still in the daily chart it shows bullish, and the market is above the Tenkan Sen. So technically it's still bullish. It might be bounced by the Tenkan Sen and goes up, but once the market breaks Tenkan Sen, then it may be traced back to Kijun Sen. So if it does, then we better exit when you're buying this pair now. But since it's bullish in this daily time frame, 
um, the market might be bounced somewhere and continuously goes up in this direction. And also, let's see, if I check one hour chart, it start to move down this way. Now we have this um, Kumo breakout, and this was a nice Sanyaku Gyakuten signal. We have this uh, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Dead Cross, and Chikospan breakout and Kumo breakout. So this is called the Sanyaku Gyakuten signal, which happened in one hour chart. And also, there was a reverse in wave so we expect the market continuously go down in one hour chart so we can follow one hour direction and the target will be below the previous low in one hour which will be somewhere around this level over here 1.2705 will be the target and with that in mind uh, if i look at the daily time frame again then uh, it, this is on the Kijun Sen. So, so the chance for the market to retrace back to Kijun Sen, I think in this case is a bit higher than just simply goes up continuously. But uh, once the market ret retraces back to Kijun Sen, it may bounce and it goes up afterwards. Is my scenario. So right now, I think sell will be a good good chance. That will be a good decision to trade. Yeah, and also I have time cycles here. So let me briefly touch on that. So time cycles shows that the next potential Henkabi is on the 24th of December. So as you can see here, the highs in between the highs are captured 25 to 22 candles in between but this one 24 bars was bearish in the wave and after that in i wave or n wave bullish it was 24 bars and then so the next swing high could be marked 24 bars after the 23rd of november and if you look at the lows the lows are the first low was kihon suchi 26 but afterwards from in between the 3rd of September and 21st of October was 35 bars and also until the 8th of December it was also 35 bars and when you see the same time cycle 35 this is called uh, Taito Suchi Taito means equal and Suchi means number in Japanese so this is uh, an example of Taito Suchi number so that next swing low will be marked 35 Trading days after 8th of December, which is going to be, let me just capture this right now. So 35 bars afterwards will be 24th of January. So, so that will be a scenario for this. So with that in mind, if you see this chart now, um, the market could go up. It could go up and it could re renew higher until the 24th of December that will be one of the scenarios so let me just uh, draw the line so the 24th December will be a potential henka before the swing high so it may go up go down it may go down and up and if it doesn't renew higher then it could retrace back all the way down until the 24th of January that's one of the scenarios but uh, from here, it may go up. It may go up and renew higher. And so once it, once market breaks resistance before 24th of December, then this could be um, in a swing high. And the market retraces backwards until the 24th of January. And from here, it could bounce and goes up in this direction. So with that in mind, I monitor this chart as time cycles. So that's the USCCAD. So until 24th of December, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six trading days. Wow, time flies. Next week is uh, Christmas. So I hope you have a good plans. But uh, 
yeah, so this is uptrending. So with these time cycles, we continue to monitor the markets. Okay, so let's see. And looks like uh, other markets are pretty much ranging. Pound pairs ranging. And let's see. UCJPY is too bullish. Oh, sorry, UCJPY is this one is too bullish. But uh, it's now on the Kijun Sen. So uh, we can't tell which way it's going. Yeah, Chikou Span is still touching the previous candles. And the market below Kijun Sen, so this is a ranging market. All right, yeah, forecast lines won't work. Will work the best in the daily or the four hour chart. I would say daily chart forecast lines work the best. Yeah, um, I will talk about the lower time frame entry chance if I find a good setup. But today, looks like everything's ranging, so I won't touch the the uh, the entry chance. But rather, I will talk about the bigger picture. So um, let me check some other time cycles on other pairs. So I have covered this one, USCAD, and uh, let's see. What else I had time cycle. So pound JPY. Pound JPY daily chart. I captured time cycles. And it was like this. So starting from the 1st of October. In I wave, it was 14 bars. And afterwards, on the reverse end wave, was 17. And the second S wave was also 17. So the next potential Henkabi will be... 17 candles after the 3rd of December, which is going to be uh, the 27th of December. So, and since the market has been retracing back to Kijun Sen, if it's rejected by the Kijun Sen and still continuously be bearish, then it may break the support and continuously go down to the 27th of December. But now it's flat. The market is flat. Kumo flat. Kijun Sen flat. Chikou Span too close. The previous candle. So we can't tell which way it's going. It may go up and mark the uh, swing high and retrace and goes up also. So, um, but uh, we continuously monitor the chart and see if the market respects the next Henkabi on the 27th of December in these time cycles. So that's one. And let's see. Oh yeah, actually in pound CAD, I had the time cycles too. The pound CAD daily chart time cycles were looking like this previously. So um, so yeah, it was 25, 22, and 20 time cycle. And afterwards, it was 8 bars I wave and 9 bars I wave also and the market reached to this doji candlestick so now counting from here or here i would say because this is a new swing low so counting from here to the next swing low which is marked on the 8th of december if i simply count that then um let's see how many candles that will be and this is 20 bars Right, so yeah, so market went up in the wave and retraced back in the I wave, and it was 20. But uh, let me take the swing high here. Let's see the swing high on the 30th of November from 11th of November and see how many candles it was. And this was 14 bars, so 14 bars of in the wave, and afterwards, the market retraced back to back until the 8th of December and let's see how many candles it was on this I wave and this was 7 bars so we see some pattern 14, 17 
So this next I wave could be on the seven on the seven uh, seven bars. So if I capture the next Henkabi, that will be today. So then this is called title switch also. Seven and seven are also title switch number. Simply I wave and I wave making the V wave for the 14 bars. So we see some other time cycle 14 here too. I will just drag them a bit down and I will put this 14 bars like this. And this is also a title switch number. So long. Yeah, so 13 bar, in this case, will be title suchi. So today, most likely, it will be henkabi. So there is a good chance that the market will be resisted and continuously go down this way. At least it might go down to Junsen in this time cycle analysis. So yeah, let's continue to monitor this one also. With this time cycles and see how it plays out and of course time cycle is not 100 percent sometimes market doesn't respect the future time cycles in that case you have to you have to uh you know um monitor charts and how far how long the market respect time cycles and if you start to see new time cycles then you have to adjust these lines and analysis or you, you might have to redo time cycles over again to see the next henkabi in the future but uh yeah so right now it looks like today 16th december is henkabi so we have to wait either the market will be rejected and go down or retreat or break out and the market might break the kumo upwards in this way Apple Pie says, um, how to trade when you have a position before you go to sleep? I will move the break even and go to bed. Otherwise, exit with some profit and come back to it tomorrow morning. Yeah, so this says, um, hi Kay, please show one example how you enter before breakout in chart not in live just the setup um, I have to look for my previous trades but uh, please remind me on that question next time and I can show some screenshots of my previous trades all right could you do time cycles on gold all right so let's see so time cycles on gold Gold has been ranging, so let me see if I can capture some time cycles now. So, let's see. So this was, this is my time cycle analysis. So, it's in the daily time frame. And, uh, yeah, so uh, the, the swing highs, the swing highs since... 1st of June seems to be 33 to 37 bars in between. So I expect the next Henkabi could be, um, hold on, in this case, sorry, let me see. So 36 bars was here and this one was not. So hold on, let me, I think I was just uh, creating this time cycle. In, in the middle, I stopped doing it. So let me minor adjust. So I see 18 bars or um, 18 bars to here. 18 bars to here. And uh, so now 18 bars after the 16th of November, which is the swing high, will be over here. But uh, if I do this, I don't see any high here. It was very flat. So in this case, since 17 as Kihon Suchi, I will extend it to 26. So 26 bars after the 16th of November will be uh, yeah, will be here. 
on the 21st of December. So that will be a Henkabi for the highs. That will be the next Henkabi for the highs. 26 is one of the Kihon Suchi numbers. So it could be 25, it could be 27 or 28. There might be some one or two candles difference, but uh, 28th to a uh, 21st of December could be the next swing high. So until that day, the market could go up and reject it by the Kumo Kijun Sen and start to go down until this date, the 10th of January. This could be the case. Um, yeah, but not right now it's ranging, so there is no direction in the market, so we can't really tell which way it's going. So simply, we have to stay away until 21st of December, and if it's bullish, then it may be traced backwards. So, but I haven't traded gold for months so far. At least this year, I never traded gold because it's been ranging very much. So I'm mainly focusing on the forex market to trade. But uh, yeah, it's basically sideways. And I don't see any targets here too. Before, uh, on the 16th of November, the market reached the V target and now it's retracing backwards and ranging. So I don't see any next targets huge targets on price theory either in this case all right um Gampat says um sir could you explain the significance of a chikou span breakout from kumo in different time frame a chikou span breakout to the kumo is uh significant in terms of super long-term market momentum. So Chikou Span breakout of the candle is long-term or mid-term, and Chikou Span to Kumo breakout is the super long-term market momentum. So, so that means by the time you see Chikou Span break, the market has been moving up and Kumo is up, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen is up, and market above the Tenkan Sen, and when you see Chikou Span break out of the Kumo, then all the players in the market is now into bullish, bullish, uh, bull, bull biased. Yeah, that's what it means by the Chikou Span break out of the Kumo. Yeah, so let's see. But right now, Oh yeah, I think this one is a good example. On gold, one hour chart, now Chikou Span break. A market above ten Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Kumo. Chikou Span break out of the candles, and now Chikou Span break out of the Kumo here. So this means the market is uptrending in all the terms in one hour chart. Okay, so um, yeah, I guess I will be ending the live for now and switch to the Ichimoku membership live. I do see many more comments, but I'm sorry I can't cover because um, I have to switch the live stream for now. But uh, I hope you enjoyed today's live session. If you liked it, please press like button before you leave. That would be great. And I will see you in the next one. And for those Ichimoku members, I will see you soon in about 10 minutes. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.